Now we have question number two on the screen that is state two economically important uses of A heterotrophic bacteria and B is RK bacteria. So we have to state some economically important uses of these two types of bacteria. First, we are going to talk about the heterotrophic bacteria. Heterotrophic means you all know that this is a type of mode of nutrition which is a type uh, which includes all the organisms who feed upon different organisms, who obtain their nutrition from different organisms. They do not make their own food. We all organisms except for plants. All the organisms present on earth are heterotrophic in nature. Only the plants available on earth are autotrophic in nature. That means they can synthesize their own food, but we cannot do so. So we are known as heterotrophic organism. If we are talking about bacteria, bacteria are also heterotrophic organisms because they are not capable of synthesizing their own food. Hence, they obtain their nutrition from other organisms. So we are talking about heterotrophic bacteria and we have to state some economically importance of heterotrophic bacteria. So first economic importance of heterotrophic bacteria is they are actually helpful in decomposition. Bacteria are the decomposers and they help in the formation of humus. So first economic use of heterotrophic bacteria we are talking about. First of all we are talking about heterotrophic bacteria. Heterotrophic bacteria all right and we are talking about the economic importance of these so first economic importance of heterotrophic bacteria is they are they are decomposers they are decomposers and they help this they help in the formation, in the formation of humus. Why so? Because they are decomposers, they feed upon these dead decaying matter also. So these kind of bacteria who feed upon dead or decaying matter are known as decomposers. And this is why they have economic importance because they are helping in the formation of humus. If we talk about the another economic importance of heterotrophic bacteria, then we can say that some of the bacteria are useful in the formation of curd from milk. So this is one of the economic importance. Some bacteria such as lactobacillus bacteria, a special type of bacteria named as lactobacillus bacteria. This bacteria actually helps or converts the milk into curd. So these bacteria are also helpful in the formation of curd from milk and hence they have economic importance of them. So second one is they help in the formation in the formation of curd from milk, from milk and that is why they have economic importance. Alright, some of the species of bacteria, some of the species of bacteria are also helpful in the making of antibiotics which are useful in the treatment of some diseases. Alright, so some of the antibiotics can also be obtained from some of the species of bacteria, hence they are useful, they are economically important to us. So third economic importance would be they are useful. They are useful in the formation of antibiotics, 
antibiotics which can be obtained from some of the species of bacteria all right and if we talk about some other kind of economic importance of bacteria then these bacteria are also helpful in nitrogen fixing so they can also fix nitrogen some of the bacteria such as cyanobacteria are very helpful are very helpful in the fixation of nitrogen for large and advanced plants so they are also helpful in nitrogen fixing nitrogen fixing when they are in symbiotic relationship with advanced plants or large plants they actually fixes nitrogen present in the atmosphere and hence they have a economic importance in nitrogen fixing as well so these are some economic importance of heterotrophic bacteria now we are going to discuss the economic importance of rk bacteria rk bacteria rk bacteria is a group of bacteria which includes all the bacteria who are resistant to extreme temperatures who are adapted to survive in extreme of temperatures hence they are known as rk bacteria and they are grouped under separate category of this rk bacteria so rk bacteria have some economic importance if we discuss the first economic importance that they are actually helpful in production of methane gas we know that methane gas methane gas is produced first of all methane gas is not produced from bacteria it is produced from the dung it is produced from the dung of ruminant animals such as cows ruminant animals all right so methane gas is produced from the dung of ruminant animals and these rk bacteria such as methanogens special kind of rk bacteria known as methanogens are found in the gut of ruminant animals they are also found in hence they are found in dung of the uh, ruminant animals so biogas biogas is produced with the help of with the help of methanogen bacteria and these methanogen bacteria are actually under the cat they fall under the category of rk bacteria methanogen bacteria so they produce biogas they produce methane gas and also these rk bacteria help in sewage treatment in sewage treatment they are used in sewage treatment all right so these are the economic importance of rk bacteria here we have already discussed the economic importance of both of bacteria such as heterotrophic bacteria and rk bacteria so this is the complete solution of question number 2 on the screen